The Acura Integra has always been a sporty, liftback sedan that everyone loves, and for 2023, Acura surprised the auto industry by bringing back the Integra. But this is the last piece of the puzzle. Here we are with the latest 2024 Acura Integra Type S. With the dying manual sports car market, is this the best choice out there and is it worth it over the Civic Type R? Let's go ahead and find out. Starting with the pricing and trim level, we have the Type S, which starts at $51,800. With some of the options today, this one is a little bit more than $53,000. Let's see what you get for the money. Starting with the exterior design, the Integra wears an aggressive face for Type S duty. You have a functional area down below that looks very aggressive and an open surface grille for better airflow. All Type S models have a hood vent and the headlights are going to be the signature design. You get a chicane daytime running light and jewel-eyed LED headlights. There is an LED turn signal and no fog lights are included. The wheels measure in at 19 inches and you'll find a split spoke design with red brake calipers. These also have a sharp gray finish which can be found on A-Spec and Type S Acura products. Moving around to the side, you'll find fender flares which look very aggressive and mirrors that have heating and blind spot monitoring. At the rear end, you will find an aggressive rear diffuser and three exhaust tips. The taillights will be a nice upgrade over the Civic Type R with fully LED taillights. Of course, there's an LED brake light, LED turn signal, and an LED reverse light. Let's hear how it sounds from the outside. Now let's take a look at the interior and see how much of an upgrade this is over the Civic Type R. Now you may see some resemblance with this and the Honda Civic Type R. That is because this is basically a fancy Civic. The door panel will be made of soft touch plastic on the upper part, other rats on your armrest, and a good amount of storage down below. You will have Type S door sills, and your seats will be made of real leather with Type S branding in the headrest and Alcantara through the middle part. It will also be 12-way power adjusting. Getting in, you do have to crouch down a little bit. But once you are fully inside, you will find a leather wrap steering wheel. It will not be heated and it will be manual adjusting. And because this is a sports sedan, you will find perforated leather on the sides. The gauge cluster will be full digital and basically the same as the Civic Type R but the Civic has a half analog and half digital display. Also, when you change drive modes, it will have a different look. Materials will be pretty good. You have soft touch plastic on the upper dash, leatherette, full carbon fiber. It's very interesting material for the vents and a lot of gloss black. Storage is okay. You'll find a wireless phone charger, two cup holders, and a good amount of space under the armrest. Of course, you'll have the selector for your manual transmission and the climate controls will be physical buttons and knobs and you have a very satisfying click like you do in the Honda Civic. You will also find three stages of heated seats but no ventilated seats on any Integra. Taking a look at the infotainment system, this is currently the only Acura that has a touchscreen and this is Honda's latest system. This is not accurate because this is the same display that you get in the Civic Type R. But it does offer wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now one upgrade that you get over the Civic Type R is the fact that you have ELS Studio sound system. These will be 16 speakers and will fill up the cabin very nicely. We did have that on the MTX that we bought last year. And I have to say that it's a very good sound system. Definitely an upgrade over the Type R. Up top, you won't have any um, moon roof because that will save weight. Additionally, there is a standard rear view mirror and a sunglasses holder. So what is your front passenger going to get on the other side? 
The door panel will be basically the same with the soft touch plastic and the red leather red on the armrest. There is a good amount of storage down below and the seats are going to be made of the same leather and suede as the driver's side. You get type S branding in the headrest and the only difference is that these will have 4 ways of manual adjusting. Opening up the glove box, you'll find a little bit of space and you get 3 stages of heated seats like the driver's side. When you put it in reverse, you have a standard backup camera with good resolution and 3 different angles. So let's take a look at the rear seats, because this is basically a luxury Civic Type R, so let's see if that impacts the rear seats. You get pretty cheap materials on the door panel, you get leatherette, soft touch plastic, and hard plastic, and the seats will be pretty comfortable. The headroom is not great back here though. These will be made of real leather, like the front, no suede or anything like that. And getting inside, you'll find actually more legroom than the TLX Type S. I don't know how that works, but that's what's going on back here. But the rest of it is going to be pretty disappointing. You get one map pocket, you get two cup holders in the middle, so this is a 4C car, not a 5C car, and you won't have any vents, USB ports, or climate controls. So overall, the back seat is pretty disappointing, the headroom is not great, you don't get that many amenities, and I'd have to say that this is not really a step up over the Type R. Now you might have noticed that this Integra looks very strange at the back, and that is because this is a liftback. The Civic Type R is also a liftback, but most other Civics have a traditional trunk. This means that you get a lot more space than the traditional sedan at 24 cubic feet. You do have a pretty high loading level, but this has quite a lot more room than an Audi S3 or Cadillac CT4V. Let's go right ahead and talk about powertrain, as this is one of the most important elements about this Integra. This is the same exact engine that's in the Civic, but 5 more horsepower. We have a 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder engine making 320 horsepower and 310 pound feet of torque. A manual transmission is the only option, and so is front wheel drive. Fuel economy is great for a sports sedan at 21 in the city, 28 on the highway, and 24 miles per gallon combined. Also, the engine cover looks awesome. The competition to this Integra is pretty stiff, so let's talk about that. The Integra Type S competes with the Audi S3, BMW M235i Grand Coupe, and the Cadillac CT4V. Overall, the competition will have a nicer backseat as the Integra doesn't have a lot of nice amenities, but they can't beat the reliability and the fun of having a manual in the Integra. The Acura Integra Type S is 186 inches long and 75 inches wide. Well, that is going to wrap up this video on the 2024 Acura Integra Type S. The Integra is a pretty solid commute car and you can't beat the fun of a manual transmission. If you will be using the rear seats a little more, maybe consider an Audi S3 or Cadillac CT4V. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.